Yeah, hello and welcome to my first quick tip within my new YouTube channel. Today I want to show you a very easy method to clean up old lenses, like for example this Russian lenses on the left side the Industar 61 and on the right side the Helios 442, which is quite popular. But this method is um, also usable with many other old lenses, not only these two. You can use it with um, other M42 screw mount lenses, with M39 screw mount lenses, whatever you have because this method is a general method and not only usable with these two lenses. And I also want to show you within the second part how to open up, for example, this Helios 442 in detail so you can add some grease to um, remove mechanical parts um, because of these, um, maybe the, the aperture ring is squeaking or the focus ring is, is scratching. Um, so stay tuned if you want to, to repair or you want to refurbish your KM set Helios 442. But let's begin with the cleaning. First, I want to show you the parts you need for the cleaning. First, you need um, a standard screwdriver, not the crossed type, the standard type. Then, you need a Q tip, for example. Um, a standard Q tip is enough, uh, for example, to remove oil or to remove dust from lenses or, or let's say lens elements you don't want to remove. And you need a, a microfiber cloth to safely remove lens elements or to store lens elements while you're working and um, because yeah they are falling out really they are falling out if you unscrew the lens and so you need uh, such a, a cloth and yeah it's all you also need it for example to remove fingerprints or um, maybe a little bit of dust which is getting on them while you're cleaning the lenses and okay i forgot something uh, to put here uh, you also need something um, to clean off dust, for example, or, uh, or yeah, to blow off dust. This is a, a cue ball from Manfrotto, but you can use whatever you have. And you also need um, a few cleaners. This is, for example, an LCD cleaner, but you can also use window Kleenex or a cleaning alcohol. Here I have, for example, um, a electronical cleaner which is also evaporating without any res residues so it's nearly a cleaning alcohol only a little bit more aggressive it's very useful to remove for example oil from the aperture blades or if you have extreme dust on your lenses which isn't going away with normal standard cleaner you need such a cleaner or cleaning alcohol and here is normal standard oil which is which has cleaning and oil purposes um, this I use normally only to, to add a little bit of oil to the aperture blades again because otherwise maybe you remove too much with the Kleenex, ah, sorry, with the electrical cleaner. And so, yeah, you maybe need a little bit of oil or you need to oil them a little bit so they are working again without any problems. Um, yeah, let's begin with the cleaning. I will show you this before we, uh, at first with the Helios. This one is a standard Helios 442, one of the later KM set editions, as you can see, not the latest KM set edition, which is a little bit different, but not that different. So if you have a, a, a same looking one, only with a little bit brighter green, red and yellow, whatever this is, um, printings, um, it's one of the newer ones. And the older ones also don't have, for example, this uh, a serial number the newer ones have, but the newer ones are nearly the same. so don't expect um, to have a different lens or a com to, to have a different a completely different lens in your hand um, yeah let's see on the back um, this one this the back is nearly the same on every lens of this series or of the older m42 series as you can see here you have the lens element here you have the lens element and the nice point about it is that um, you can remove for example the whole optical element at the back here only by unscrewing the, the uh, complete back of this lens. Um, there are two notches, as you can see here, here and here. And uh, normally you need such a device to where you can adjust the, the distance with two pins, where you can uh, then unscrew it very uh, comfortably. But uh, it's also possible with a normal screwdriver. You, you only need to, to, un to put it here. And as you can see, um, it's it's possible to to unscrew the whole lens element. 
we uh, to be precise, this uh, as I said, this is this one is the, uh, one of the older KM set editions. With the newest edition, um, you only have to unscrew the inner ring, not the the the, uh, the second ring. There is only an inner ring, on and when you um, unscrew the inner ring, um, you you have to be careful because the lens elements are falling out. They're really falling out, so you need to use such a cloth to to you know, uh, yeah that they are not falling on the ground, and here you ha it's better because uh, they are screwed together and you can remove the complete back element. So now I have uh, removed uh, re the complete back element. As you can see, we, the last two lenses are, are here in a separate department. And as said, with a newer edition, um, be careful because you have to, to um, get the lenses out by yeah, wobbling the lens or yeah, and they fall, they are falling out. So now you have direct access to your uh, aperture blades. And as you can see, I, I cleaned this up already a little bit, but not that precise because I thought um, I may, because it's, I planned at this time to make a video about it. As you can see, uh, now it's possible, for example, to use your Q-tip to remove the oil or um, I don't know, maybe it's even dust on, on the aperture blades. And mostly or very often with these lenses, there is dust on the, the lens directly behind the aperture blades because they're always moving. There is maybe a, um, yeah, getting oil off the aperture blades or whatever. And so normally these lenses are the most dusty ones. And if you open up the, the aperture blades completely, you normally have direct access to this lens element. So this is uh, the first method to access the back. I can also show you this here with the, with the Indostar. With the Indostar, you ne also need to uh, unscrew the inner ring, like I told you um, about the, the newer came set edition of the Helios 44.2. You only have to unscrew this one here. Um, you see that I already um, unscrewed them, so they're a little bit loose. Um, maybe at the first time you need to, as you can see, I have not a real, real lock ring. At the first time, you maybe need um, yeah, to use a little bit of force. And this, this is the same method you, you have to use uh, if you, you have an, a newer KM set, Helios 442. As you can see here, um, here is also the lens element. And now it's, uh, it's, it's away. Oh, damn it. And now you also have access directly to the, the aperture blades. As you can see here, they are not oily, so I, um, I didn't clean them. But I removed, uh, uh, there was uh, a lot of dust between, on this lens directly uh, between uh, or after we, the aperture blades. And this was really annoying because, yeah, this is a, a like new lens. As you can see, it's in, in mint condition. And there was that many dust, dust inside that I thought, yeah, why not open it up and clean it? Um, so this is the, a, a very easy method to clean up the bag. And I will close down we in the star now again because I don't want to yeah get dust inside. As you can see here now I, I have a little bit of dust on the lens. Use the, the, the microfiber cloth to clean it. At least the inner part is, is very important because the outer part you can clean also afterwards if you want to. But it's also a very nice uh, option to clean up your lenses um, because you have it in your hand now and don't need to get uh, inside the, the lens to the lens element and at the back. So now it's cleaned. Remove the dust and place it back inside. And as you can see here, it's now uh, again in, in position and you only have to screw the ring back into the lens and it's fixed again. Yeah, okay, use the screwdriver if, you, if, you, if it's not working with your fingers. And uh, be careful that you're not slipping with your screwdriver because uh, otherwise you have a, a big scratch on your lens maybe. Fix it with not too much force and as you can hear, nothing's wobbling. It's, the, it's in position again and I know that it's working perfectly because um, I already checked it. Um, with a few photos, and so I know that it, it's that it's working without any problems. 
So, this was we we uh, in the star 61. Oh, damn it. Okay. Now I will show you. Um, as said, this is the same here with the Helios. Uh, here you can see the lens elements. Um, I can rescrew it now inside. And I will show you um, how to access the front elements. With, uh, I, but I don't. I will not show you how to unscrew it. I also. Uh, I only will show you that it's also possible here. As you can see here, um, I hope you can see it. Um, there are also such notches here, and if you turn them, as you can see here, you can also unscrew the whole lenses. And so it's possible to to get to the front of the aperture blades because um, the lenses uh, are falling out. Out if you're uh, unscrewing this ring here. Uh, don't forget to use the, the fiber cloth to, yeah, so they don't fall on the ground. And yeah, and that's it. And you can also can at, um, access the front elements with this method. It's also possible, and that's quite nice, that for example, it's also possible here. Here you have your notches, here and here. And unscrew them. You can then remove the lens elements um, and clean up the lens elements, maybe clean up the aperture blades, uh, which are maybe oily from uh, at the front or so. And yeah, that's it. Uh, although don't forget that it's quite tricky to get the lens elements back in such a lens, for example, because it's very deep, the lenses are in there very deep, and you maybe need to, to um, use um, yeah, a Q-tip or so, or other parts to get the lenses back in position. But that's not that of a problem. Only be careful that you are not, not, not losing any, any threads of the Q-tips because otherwise they are inside the optical system. And this, uh, also be careful when using Q-tip, the Q-tips, uh, uh, when you clean the aperture uh, plates because you maybe also lose threads. And as you can see, um, this is also possible from uh, at the front, not only at the back. But let's get to the, to the second part. I told you that I will also show you how to open up this lens completely, because it's quite useful to, to open up this lens completely. Um, I also had a newer cam set, because of that I know um, the fact that the lens elements are a little bit different, not, but not that different. But with a newer one, it wasn't possible to open it up. I don't know why, maybe they glued it in or whatever. But with this lens, it po it's possible. For example, if you hold on, uh, on top here, with these two rings here, uh, if you hold them in place and turn it in this direction, you can open up the complete lens. As you can see here, the, the inner shell, the optical shell, is, uh, is completely, uh, it, it's possible to unscrew it completely. And it's very fine threaded, <laughs> so you have to turn very often. And um, as soon as you unscrew the optical element, you have access to the inner shell. Mm, I will show you in a few seconds. So, okay, now I have unscrewed the, the complete uh, optical shell, or the, the optical system, as you can see here. And now um, you have access to the, the uh, normal focusing method, um, mm, focusing part, sorry. And here it's possible, for example, if you unscrew this ring here completely and unscrew the, the, the uh, protection ring here where it's printed on, you, you get access to the mechanical parts um, of, or to the threads, let's say that, to the threads of the focusing. I, I will not show you this now because I already greased it. As you can see, it's working without scr scratching, whatever. And this is... Yeah, and I don't want to open it up again because it's working that good now. Um, don't forget that you need grease and don't, please don't use oil because the oil is running everywhere. And with the grease, you also, um, yeah, yeah, it's also not that important if there's a, um, a half millimeter of play or so because the grease is, is also, um, yeah, helping to, to um, yeah, remove such play, for example, or such clicking, wobbling, whatever. It's dampening ev everything to be precise. And so, yeah, it's very nice that you can access this. But let's get to the optical system. As you can see uh, here, uh, it's, it's um, an inner shell with the optics and the aperture control. And 
a little bit of a problem is uh, that you have to think about the grease because this one is a little bit greased. Here is the um, aperture control ring, um, which is greased. So if you're handling the lens uh, and you're, you're removing, for example, the, the lens elements like, for example, this one here I showed you before, you have to think about um, your fingers uh, because they are full of grease. So be careful. Uh, so um, this is the lens element I showed you before. And uh, now I will also show you how to remove we aperture control ring. Here's a screw. This is a, a limitation screw. Oh, damn it. Okay. Uh, I, I only tell it uh, because um, it's uh, a little bit hard to get it in, in place again. Um, you have to unscrew this screw here. This is the limitation screw. Then you, uh, you have to uh, remove this screw here. The small one. This is for the aperture blades, so they're in place. Uh, or let's say um, you're turning the aperture blades with this screw here. And then you can uns unscrew the whole body or the whole part here. And if you screw it off, you have access directly to the, the aperture control here. And you also can add, for example, here uh, in, this, in this position here, under the shell, under this shell here, you can unscrew. Um, you can also add grease. And if you add grease, and here is often the problem that this um, part here, um, there are me metal parts inside, there, there is dust inside, and it, then it's scratching, it's not dampened anymore, the grease isn't working anymore. And if you add grease here and clean up comp the lens completely, it's working um, again like it's new. And yeah, that's nearly it. Because um, you also can. Um, Unmount the lens more, that's true. Um, but if you don't need to unmount the lens completely, and uh, the only things you need to access are, I think, the aperture control ring and the focus ring, um, yeah, <laughs> I, don't, I don't think that you need to uh, unmount it more. Because if the aperture blades are defect or um, are broken, I think it's not useful to get a replacement. So, yeah. I think that's um, enough for we refurbishing, or let's say this is um, enough to to get a better Helios 44 too. As I said before, you also can uh, access the front elements by unscrewing this here, and you also can access the aperture um, blades or the aperture mechanism if you uh, unscrew the whole body here on top. Um, but then you have to to uh, uh, remove the, the aperture control ring here or to you have or you have to remove this this uh, control ring here which is fixed by this three small screws here and then you can, you have access to the to the uh, upper part and can um, remove on the upper uh, or let's say you you get access to the, the inner part and you can also remove the, the aperture blades but um, as said, if you don't need to do this, don't do it because you maybe don't get it back together perfectly again. And yeah, it's, it would be bad if you're destroying your, uh, a nearly perfectly working lens uh, after your refurbishment only because you're, yeah, you want to unscrew all. Um, yeah, so this was um, the unscrewing part. Uh, I, I, I know that I don't showed uh, that many parts, but um, I think uh, at least if you know how to unscrew the lens and where you can access the, the parts, um, I think, yeah, you can play around by yourself <laughs> and, yeah, refurbish your lens as you like. Um, the only thing you should consider is uh, to get a, a, a clock repair kit because, uh, and this is also the, the case why I don't show you this now. Um, or let's say it's a, it's a small case. Um, I, I don't have 0 0.8 or 1.0 millimeter screwdrivers, which you need to unscrew these lenses here. I borrowed them uh, to, to open up this part here at, uh, at the bottom, uh, so the focus, focusing part. And yeah, <laughs> but get uh, such a kit because uh, you need it. 
or let's say you want to, to refurbish in other lands, you also need such small screwdrivers. Especially with the, the older Russian lances, it's also the case here. I don't know if I can show you. Yeah, here for example is a small one. Or normally also there somewhere is a small one. Okay, yeah, here, here, here. Yeah, you need very small screwdrivers to open up the lances completely. And yeah, I think that's it. And I hope it's not too long. And I hope that I showed you enough, especially about the Helios. If you have additional questions, um, I will try to open it again if it's really necessary. And uh, because yeah, I had it open already. And so yeah, who cares? It cost me 10 bucks. So <laughs> it's not that of a problem if I'm, uh, if I'm opening, uh, opening it up again. Or maybe I will also show you um, how to add grease and, and maybe I make a second video about refurbishing it with new grease. So um, I hope you enjoyed my video, uh, or let's say I, I, call, I, talk, <laughs> I said it's a quick tip. Okay, um, I hope you enjoyed my quick tip, and I hope that I, I, yeah, helped someone out there. And if you ha if you're interested in additional videos, or um, yeah, if you want to to subscribe, subscribe. If you have uh, questions, don't hesitate to ask. And yeah, that's it. Thanks for watching.